And what that tells you is that there are chemical reactions going on inside the body, and that signal means you're going to have symptoms tomorrow. Wow. There's an actual transmitter in that? Yeah, it's like a check engine light. Check this sailor out before he infects other people. That's right. Sailors would get the signal, then self-administer a blood draw and test themselves on site. Look at that. We can have that. comes out and says, hey, actually, we have a microchip. What's important is that the, the government agency, DARPA, right, that does these defense advanced research projects is the one that actually developed this particular uh, microchip that they say, oh, it won't track you and it, all it's going to do is tell you if you have COVID symptoms. Well, guess what? My body can also tell me if I have COVID symptoms. So why would I need a microchip inserted under my skin in order to tell me whether or not I feel the symptoms of, of COVID? It's, it's bizarre in that respect, but it's also important to note that DARPA, that same organization, is the same one that was funding gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Virology Lab for the last 10 years, especially since 2014. So one of the most important applications to us is so that we can improve the health of our worldwide deployed military force. We feel a strong sense of obligation that if we're gonna ask somebody to be deployed and to carry out their mission, that we want to keep them healthy. And this technology will give us a way to monitor if someone is getting sick. We imagine that we would be able to sense that very early and therefore prevent them from getting sick and prevent their complications, allow them to stay healthy and continue to carry out. Through the SBIR program, we funded them to solve a incredible technical challenge that no one else had been previously able to solve. The key innovation that was presented to us is they said, why can't we make a chemical substance that's really identical to what's underneath the skin, what we call the subcutaneous tissue? so that your body